What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we're going to be doing kind of a galaxy inspired pour. I was thinking purples, blues, darker colors with a black base. Show you the color palette right here. So the base coat I'm using right now is like an onyx black. It's mixed very thin. We have a dark violet. We have an aqua green. We have a turquoise and then a metallic white. Now all of these colors have a new ingredient in them that I don't normally use. And I wanna see what it does to the paint. And we're gonna be doing an open cup, a traveling open cup with this, uh, it's a condiment cup with the bottom of it cut off. And with that, let's get started. So how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing a, having a fantastic day. Right now I'm just gonna put this base coat down large enough to where we can start our pour. And you know what? I might try to spread it just a little bit by spinning it just to get a little bit more coverage. As you saw, I didn't put it right in the middle, so that's my bad. But it happens. All right. I can kind of see my own reflection in that. All right. Now, I've done these colors once in the past, but I didn't have this ingredient in them, so I'm kind of curious what's going to happen with this. So a little bit about me. I got to spend the weekend out at a lake house in Lake Orion, and the area out there is just gorgeous and just, it's like the lake life out there. Everybody's just having a great time out on the water every day. And I had a great time out there. It was very calming and relaxing, inspirational, all of those things. And it was much needed for sure. Because I'm about to have to go back to work and do that again. So, although I do enjoy my job, I do. Oh, I almost missed the entire cup. Mm. I would have missed the entire cup, guys. This would have been a Johnny, a Johnny video for sure. If I missed the entire cup. So I'm finding the condiment cup, I don't have to chase it around as much. Now I do want a little bit of dark, not a whole lot. So just a little. I'm already seeing some cells starting to crop up. And that's much further out than I thought that they would be. But I think the new ingredient is working, you guys. It's something I don't typically use, so. But yeah, it's definitely having a, a pretty interesting effect. Now, all these colors are very thin. I did add the coconut oil hair serum to these. There's not a whole lot. There's are three ounce cups, so I use maybe one to two drops of silicone per color. This is already starting to look pretty wicked y'all like all this craziness that's going on let me heat it up and see what else we can make happen because already it's having a pretty dramatic effect on what i was going for and just the the cell formations in this are just very different. Very, very different. I like it though. I like it a lot. I think I want to add a little bit more white. That was a lot of it. Oops. Well, yeah, look at how the cells, they're just like really strange. And then you have these just tiny, tiny, 
tiny little cells. I've never seen that before. So I don't even know what to make of it, to be honest. I've never um, gotten results like that before, so I have no idea. It looks wicked, though. And we're not going to do that. So we'll move it just a little. All right. This is crazy looking, though. Beautiful. Maybe a little tiny drop of white this time. We might not go overboard this time with the white, because we did go overboard last time. For sure. So I'm not worried about the colors churning because they're already going underneath the cup. You know what? I think it's time for heat. Ooh, look at them cells just exploding right now. Yeah, I don't know what these tiny little cells are. But I am getting some really wicked small cells, but you see everywhere I put the heat gun, it's bringing cells to the surface, which is awesome. It's very odd, these tiny, tiny little cells like that. I don't know what to make of those like all in here between these big bubbly cells is like these really tiny ones and i'm not even sure what is doing that so hey if anybody in the comments knows what's doing that please let me know i would love to know because it's wicked and it's something i would love to be able to recreate just a tiny bit of white i don't want a lot because i'm very happy with what is actually going on right very happy. Let's add a pop of violet in there. And then aqua. Maybe even like a little pop of this black. And then a little bit more of this turquoise. I'm just loving these colors, y'all. I know that I have far more paint than I need right now, but like just the weird lacing is going on in here. It makes me even more excited to do more pours with this compound because I feel like it's having a pretty dramatic effect on the pigments and the colors. It had a pretty cool effect last time when I twisted my open cup. So I want to kind of do that again. I think that's all we really need on there, y'all. Okay, let me spend a little bit more time heating it up and see what we can bring to the surface here. Because I know there's several layers of color just beneath the surface. And we're going to see if we can bring them out. So they're right there and they just want to peek through. And I want them to peek through. This is just crazy looking at. Crazy. Try to see if I can keep that lacing on there. Because that lacing is, I've never seen anything like that. As I move all the paints away. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. That is so cool. Alright, so. Alright, let me rotate this just a little. Make it easier for me. Put this on the side. Oh, and I 
I was wrong when I said I think I said this was an onyx black. This is a metallic black base, so that might also be playing into it just a little. Y'all know I love my metallics. Any excuse to use a metallic, I'm normally down for. Right now I'm just getting the edges wet so that the paint can flow freely to the edges. And I think we're ready to spin it. Get it more centered. Because I do want to preserve that lace as much as I can. Alright. Just light spins. It doesn't take a lot. Doesn't take a lot at all. Alright. Just that metallic shimmer in there. And I did keep a lot of that lacing that's going around. And the cells that we're forming in the middle are these big, huge, juicy, bubbly cells now. So now I should be able to introduce a little more heat to it. And get another reaction out of it. You can see the cells just starting to open up in spots where there weren't cells before. Which is just gorgeous. Oh man, look at that. just popping now with new growth of cells. It's kind of crazy actually. Yeah, this is wicked looking at. What? Guys. The things that are happening on this canvas right now, I just don't even really know how to put to words because there are the, there's that white metallic and the black metallic. The black metallic was the base. And the white metallic is doing some really funky stuff right now. But the shimmer that it added to everything, it's beautiful. So let me bring you guys down. I want you to see this. This is amazing. You can see. You can see everywhere that that white and black metallic intermingled with all the other colors. It created this really crazy little lacing effect. And I just remembered that I didn't tell you what that compound was. That compound is Australian Floetrol. I put maybe half of a teaspoon into each color. And it made some really crazy looking effects. But I love it. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.